Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. So today I'm off to shoot at a place called Cam Cove. This is a place that I've been looking at for a while. I've wanted to shoot there for quite some time. And today conditions were looking pretty good for sunset. So I decided I would pack up my stuff and leave. This is a very much a last minute thought, not many of my shoots are actually very last minute like this one. Conditions at the moment are quite cloudy, it's patchy clouds, high and medium altitude clouds I'd say, but we are also at the tail end of a storm. We had a storm yesterday and we've got a storm next week as well. It's been quite crazy at the moment, lots of rain, a bit of thunder. Often you get really good conditions at tail ends of storms before and after. Get some really nice colours and cool cloud patterns and stuff like that and I think today is very much attested to that. So sunset today is at 8 o'clock, it's 6.35 right now so we've got quite a bit of time. I wanted to get there early because I've never been there before so I'll probably do some scouting before I start shooting. So I've arrived on location and actually there's a massive storm coming into Sydney at the moment. I can just see on the horizon there's this awesome colour, this orange colour and we've got lightning as well. This is some really awesome conditions. It's my first composition here including the fishing cottage on the right side of my frame. On the left side, we've got that storm. It's a really intense shot. So I'll put my 10 stop and polarizer on, focusing on the fishing cottage. It actually looks really good. It looked a little bit odd with the cottage just in focus. So I think I'm gonna focus to infinity and get the whole frame in focus. F7.1, 25 seconds. Okay, so that actually looked quite good. The light's a little bit overexposed, but I can see the potential in it now. So I'm gonna go, I think what, it was the, it was the orange part in the frame that was overexposed, so. I'm gonna polarize the image a bit more. Go two seconds. I'm gonna bring it up just to F8 and keep it at 25 seconds, but it looks really good. This is why I actually came a lot earlier than I needed to today because I knew that there was a possibility that the conditions would look like this and really 
the fact that people say that the best conditions are at either tail end of a storm. This is really a testimony to that. This is some of the most incredible conditions I've ever seen. So I've actually spotted another composition. I've taken the camera into vertical and I'm going to be shooting this pylon that's in the middle of the water. Now the whole scene at the moment is orange and it's still only 7.16 so I cannot wait to see what it looks like at sunset. But over there is where sunset is going to be towards the Sydney Harbour Bridge behind me. So it should look really, really nice. But all this water behind me is just glowing orange. And then we've got the orange sky behind it as well. I'm gonna get this photo before I lose the conditions. Because I am trying to portray this really intense atmosphere in these photos, I am using long exposures just to blur this water. And I really enjoy doing long exposures. You might've figured that out from the amount of videos I do about it. So I'm gonna shoot at 20 seconds, F9, ISO 100. So my next composition here, I've actually gotten up on top of a rock to try and get some separation from the cottage to the city behind it and behind the city at the moment we've got this awesome orange glow from sunset and it looks really insane it kind of looks like a fire so this is my composition here i've just got the cottage here as a foreground interest and on the side here we've got the pylon as well as well as that we've got this jetty leading the eye out to the cottage a little bit and of course the city in the background with the fiery glow behind it. It looks really nice. So for this shot I'm gonna go 30 seconds f6.3 and ISO 200. The reason why I've chosen those settings is because I don't really want to bring the aperture down open too much because the depth of field will be off and not the whole frame might not be in focus. 30 seconds because I want a long exposure so someone has actually walked onto the jetty. It's okay, he's in a position that looks kind of nice, so I'll be able to include him in the photo. Just focus to infinity.
That shot actually looks really, really nice. I'm actually going to pan the composition a bit to the left, uh, just to get a bit more of the orange glow on the water. But it looks insanely beautiful. We've now got these awesome orange god rays coming through the clouds and it looks so nice. This is what makes me happy. This is, this makes up for the weeks and weeks without a shoot. Because a lot of the time, these videos are actually filmed weeks prior to when I actually upload them. And so I actually haven't been on a shoot for, well, since Pitwater. Well, actually since Clove Valley. So I'm actually just gonna try taking my camera off, try just framing up a different, few different photos, trying out a few different things. Even a vertical composition looks really nice. Yeah, I'm gonna go vertical actually. I think from now, I'm gonna raise my ISO and I don't enjoy raising my ISO too much because well, it introduces noise into the image. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to bring it to 30 seconds, f6.3, ISO 400, two second timer, focus to infinity and in a vertical composition. So there's this one part of the city that is glowing purple and I want to try and capture that. It's going to disappear in pretty much no time. I just know it. Let's see if I can get it with cottage. So I'm going to go landscape. Oh, come on, this is just something I have to capture. Focus to infinity. I'm going to take my aperture down to f5.6 and we've lost the purple glow. Just like that, it's gone. Oh. Still got some insane photos. I have never witnessed something like that going off. Wow. What a shoot. You know, I have never seen anything like that. As a landscape photographer, I mean, I'm only based in Sydney, so we get the normal weather patterns. Well, when I say normal, not really normal, but we get weather patterns that aren't normally that impressive, but I have that was impressive. That was beautiful, stunning, orange glow, purple, pink. 
and it's still going on. It's just a little bit more subtle. So I didn't really get all the compositions that I did want to get, which was a bit of a shame. But this whole shoot was quite rushed because it's just the light was changing so much and that's the thing with landscape photography. Not often it's slow and you can take it in. It's very much fast paced most of the time, especially with conditions like this. Ever changing conditions that are stormy and the clouds are moving a lot through the frame. It changes the light as the clouds move through it. And as well as that, there was constantly people walking onto this jetty here, taking photos and getting in my frame. I'm not, I've got nothing against them. They have every right to be there, just like I do. So yeah, everything's kind of calmed down now. So I think I'm gonna finish this video up here. My God, I have not been on such an exciting shoot in a very long time. But I'm sure I'm gonna be back here because there are still photos to be had, but I think what I want to do is explore the other beaches up and down here, which should be really nice. There's several harbour beaches, some pointing towards the east, some pointing towards the west, and then we've got also some lighthouses over that way, Hornsby and Macquarie Lighthouse as well. So I'll probably do some shoots there. There will be upcoming videos. I will make videos about them. So yeah, I'm going to finish this video up here. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.